All right, guys, uh, the length of a rectangular pitcher is four more than the width. If the area of the pitcher is 192 square inches, find the length and width of the pitcher. Now, the nice thing about this one, we do see an area on this one. And uh, the formula for area, especially for rectangular pitchers here, that's going to tell us that the area will equal length times width. Okay, now I'm going to give myself a little space between the L and W because I feel like there's going to be something that we're going to have to replace on that. Uh, and in fact, they, they told us also that the area of the rectangle is 192 square inches. So I'm going to replace my A here with 192. And then reading, again, you may have to read this a few times to really understand it, but length of the picture is four more than the width. Okay, that's my length, four more than the width. So if, if we drew a picture of this, and I don't know if it helps, but if it does, you know, always, always feel free to use these pictures. Okay, but what I know from this picture is, I'd say this is the length, and this is the width, but uh, up here it tells us that the length is the same as four more than the width. Okay, now you could write four plus W, you can even write W plus four because it's addition and order doesn't matter for addition. So I'm just gonna leave it like this with four plus the width and then I'll get rid of my L here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace it with four plus the width, okay? Now that's still multiplied by W and it still equals the 192. Now this equation we can continue to solve by distributing the w right so four times w would be we'll say four w and then w times w would be w squared that's positive w squared by the way so now we've got 192 equals four w plus w squared right and at, at this point and then you could even reverse this so that it looks more like a trinomial that we're used to but i'm going to do it later though okay so I'm going to subtract 192 because remember, this is one of those equations where we want it to equal zero, right? So that will be zero right there. And now I got zero equals, you know what, at, at this point I will switch these. I'm going to make this W squared and then positive 4W and then I'd have minus 192. So the last thing here is I'm going to take that negative 192 and since the coefficient of W squared is a phantom one, I'm going to split that 192 up into um, two factors, right? I want two factors of 192 that would add up to positive 4. Now, the closest I got here is a 16 and 12, right? Now, since the 4 is positive, that means the bigger one of these two numbers needs to be positive. And so I would show it as um, uh, positive 16 and negative 12. So, yeah, when we add those together, we do get a positive 4 W's. And uh, uh, remember, you could factor by grouping at this point, but I'm going to use the rule just to give us a little bit of a shortcut. And so we're looking at W's here. Yeah, it's still equal to zero, but the two factors were 16. That's positive 16 and then negative 12. Now, that's, that's quite a bit of work right there, but we're not finished yet. We've got to do a little bit more work. Remember, if I can get this factor to be zero, then it would be a true statement, the, this equation. But if I could get this factor to be zero as well, we'd get a true statement. But let's see what how this turns out, okay? So I would be looking at uh, W plus 16. And if I could get that to equal zero, then I'd get a true statement, right? So then we'd say, well, go ahead and subtract 16 from both sides. Zeroing that out, drop your W. W then equals, uh, again, that was minus 16, so negative 16. But we're going to do the same thing with W minus 12. Let's see what happens there. And again, this is going to equal 0. But uh, from here, I'm going to have to add 12 to both sides. And drop my W. W then equals, that zeroes out, 12. Now, of these two measurements, the W, that's our width. It needs to be a positive value. So I'm, I, I would assume that it's this 12. Now, I also assume that the length is a 16. It's just positive 16 instead of negative right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and label that. The, the width is going to be 12 inches. Okay, that would be my width. And then the length was 4 more than that, right? So the length here is going to be 4 plus the width. But right now we got the width at uh, 12 inches. And so the length would equal 4 plus 12 is 16. So see how it kind of checks off with that one right there? 16 inches. 
Now, the last thing I want to do on this is just to check to make sure that these two values work. Okay, now I know 16 is 4 more than 12, but what happens when I get 16 times 12? Well, we already checked that, by the way, but it's 192, 192 square inches, which is what we expected. So this is my two answers here.